Yachty singer. Come over and get some cabbage from the Indian. Oh, thank you, sir. Please. Definitely. Please. Absolutely. Please. You're such an honor, brother. I love you, man. Are you on the hunt looking for new stuff? Do you like charite? It's pretty. Another material that used to be so affordable, dude. So what? Used to be very, very affordable. Oh, oh, right, right. Yeah, I like when you can see the uh, displays, you know. You know, in all honesty, these bigger ones are probably just over a pound. And you could probably get three, four hundred bucks for these, so it's a good price. Some people at home are like, three fifty a kilo, I just paid nine. <laughs> $50 a kilo for this is a great price. Like great price. Of course, Sprite picks out some of the best pieces. <laughs> um, so Sprite is doing shopping for people as well. Um, if anybody wants him to pick out some materials for you, uh, he knows where everything is, such as no, a few kilos fine. of this. $50 a kilo. So that's 2.2 .2 pounds for 50 bucks of this material. Sprite is willing to do it. $150 the same price as I charge. Oh, that's a killer price. I'm going to have to pick out a kilo of that before we wrap up for the day. I wish I would have saw it the first day. There's probably four bins of this. This is a great piece for 50 bucks. A kilo. Look at that one. Nice dark vein. These two are great. going to just hide that right there. <laughs> Here, I want to teach some people a lesson. Metaphysical uh, do's and don'ts. Uh, people say kind of right here never needs to be cleansed and I say you could test that by putting it in some dog shit and Oh see my if, god see if it really Try not to curse the children watching oh at home need to <laughs> okay. so, oh my so, god. Be careful with your new age woo woo and uh, I would definitely clean these and Clean them well, but just probably water is fine. Maybe some salt. I don't know. Talk to you right now <coughs> I'm an expert about that Fantastic. This is nice. So, Here, show this one. Can we see some light through there? Oh, yeah. So, can you, uh, could you get the sun? Oh, yeah, and this is Hoffman Minerals. They're the first tent when you walk in on the right. Come and buy out that bucket of pink Peruvian for $50 a kilo. That's better than the Peruvian sell it for. All right. Golden quartz. Let's take a look at some of these minerales. Look at that blue. Folks can see me. Hi. If dogs are better than people, then what? Uh, what do we say about puppies? Woof. Woof. Look, look, look. Oh, I like this one. Oh, that is a great crystal. So, if you folks are just now tuning in, um, there is a link in the description section of this video. So, different booth, few feet away, fifty dollars a kilo, one hundred and fifty dollars a kilo. No, yeah, one fifty a kilo. I love the blue Peruvian opal. One year, I got a bag of this. Someone was selling a bag. I got it for, I think, $15 a pound. This is probably closer to 200 a pound or a kilo or something. I like this one. Yeah, make sure to like the video, folks. It really does help. Um, it does go to all, all super chat donations go to support sprites um, <laughs> His uh, <laughs> Never mind so in the description section of the video, There's a link. It's the sprites YouTube channel. Thank you everybody who Subscribed make sure to keep subscribing to sprites channel. He really needs the help desperately. He's a desperate man <laughs> This is Silver Rainbird. I absolutely love these guys. 
have so much love for them. So these necklaces here, $12 a piece, killer deal, killer deal. I used to buy Hubei Mountain beads from them and cut them in half to make cabochons. Okay. I'm gonna have to get one of these, this one right there. I might need two. Yeah, it seems like. Cause I got a big neck, a thick neck. But these guys are out of Santa Fe, I believe. But you're not gonna get this in Santa Fe? Dude, some, somebody should just buy this whole box. You could get 40, 50, 60, 100 bucks for these. Those, yeah. There was one once in here that I wanted. Place. Yeah, once you put this on some good wire. And what a great deal. Yeah, or even just cut them up and put them into different things. Yeah, they're Hubei. Hubei Mountain. And so the way I shop for these is I look in the middle. Because most people aren't looking at the beads in the back of your neck. Yeah. So this one has a big quartzy piece, not my taste. Um, this one right here, however, big, beautiful blue. The discs, uh, the larger discs before it graduates into smaller ones. That's a killer necklace for $12. Well, strand. Here's a slightly smaller one. Uh, never mind, I was, yeah, slightly smaller, but I feel like that these are higher quality. That one right there. I like the, uh... So natural colors, they are stabilized, but for $12, he, here's the thing. Kingman is selling stabilized turquoise, $550 a pound. Okay, so stabilized, is, there's nothing wrong with stabilized. For me, the enhanced color is kind of where I draw the line. But uh, I'm coming back for this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that right there and hopefully not. Yeah, just let the color do whatever it is, even if it's pale. Killer, killer, killer. Yeah, Lynn definitely just got her hat from here. Oh, this is the uh, Shibibo? Shibibo? Shibibo Pita. From Amazon? Amazon? Does the Amazon go to Peru? It goes to Brazil, right? Does the Amazon touch Peru? Uh, so this is Shipiba? Oh, nice. Fantastic. You were right. Just slightly different way of you saying it. Oh, nice. Let's see how it looks on your sprite. like a Santa Fe magazine that they give out for free at the Travel Center. That's a fantastic piece. Yeah, really. uh, how much for this one? 100? See? Oh, it's right here. Sorry. It has a sticker. Sorry about that. I didn't even notice it. Oh, thank you. That's a great, I, I think that's a great, great piece. Here's some Peruvian rhodonite here. Oh, I love these over here. Little tumbled guys. Is this that opal? No, this is uh, rhodonite. The other ones, the lighter color ones, are opals. Let's move over here where there's more rocks. 
Got some shea butter. Oh, good score. Ten dollars a jar. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. That's the real deal. Over here, some African topaz. That's what I need for my hand. That'd be perfect for your hand. You should get some. Here's some prenite from South Africa, I believe. No, it's. Oh, nice. Is it from South Africa? Is it from Mali? Mali. 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 What is this? Lapidolite. Oh, nice. How's it feel? I'll be back. They're playing that Kenny Rogers song, you know, the Ruby? Don't take your love to town. Is that what you hear? Yeah. Hey, Ruby. Looking for some faceting grade amethyst. Maybe not so much this venue. No, that's going to be at the hotel. Yeah, the hotel strips for sure. Uh, here is some turquoise. Two dollars a carat. That is very affordable. I charge about three to twelve for similar variations. I like the way they spelled that. These are cool calibrated pieces. Uh, doesn't look like it's that one's turquoise, but. I do get distracted by turquoise a lot. What else is there to see? It's a first, so you're not Nothing. <laughs> Just kidding. There's so many good things, but I do love turquoise. This guy might have some fast and great amethyst. Right here. Here's some faceting grade amethysts. Only one dollar per gram. Is this Brazilian? Yes. And then, uh, oh, there's another tray right here. Thank you, brother. Brody lives in Tucson. That's awesome. All right. Here's some Ethiopian opals. $9 per gram. Uh... And then here's some of my stuff right here. My cup of tea. Sujolite, $8 a gram. This material is quite heavy. So this is probably, let's find out. This piece right here at $8 a gram. Good color on this piece. Eight times three. So 224 for that piece right there. Oh, nice, really? $3 a gram, that's fantastic. That is great. That makes this just under $100. Uh, honestly, folks, I'm not just saying that to be kind. That is a very good price for pieces that are, so this has been processed to cut out a lot of the manganese and the Richterite that's inside of the material. So you're paying for the actual stone and not too much of the matrix. This gentleman has a really good price on this material. This one right here for $99 worth every penny. Here's another one that's pretty fantastic.
Here's another one that's fantastic. This one is perhaps one that I would avoid because it's a little bit, uh, has a great, nice jelly vein on top and the bottom, but I would probably avoid those other ones. Here's a nice lavender variation. I'm gonna buy a piece, let me see how much. Hey Sprite, can I hand this over to you, brother? You wanna show them these? Make sure to go slow so you don't make people sick. You hold it in one hand. All right, I still got um, this. Just put it in your pocket. Uh, I'll put it in my pocket. No, that's all right. I'm gonna pick out a piece. All right, of sorry, I missed that comment. Do I, can I just look at, yeah. Yeah, here. but just. All right. Let no, it go. Show, them the, show them the goods. Wyoming, you definitely should. I'm sure there's going to be something. Hold it up in the light a little bit. Uh, with, local to you. With your other hand, show them the goodies. Yeah. I forget that you're left handed. I am left handed, so maybe I need to get rid of my drink. Hang on, folks. I'm just going to adjust. I have oh, not here's a lot one. of money. <laughs> All right. Don't kill, Stephen. Just go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Let's look at this. Hello from Kingman. Oh, nice. Cool, broken. So Rock let them, queen. Let them know in the description section that I can find your account. Oh, nice. Thank you, Wyoming Adventures. You are on the ball. Look at this. Who's going to get this? Oh, thank you, my friend. Oh, this big one? Okay. I'll get to that. That is some strange looking thing. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. What are we chugging? Not this water in here, I hope. Dave would do that. He licks rocks. This thing is an unusual... It would be a shame to cut that, but I bet it would be a lot of fun for those who like to cut these things. Yeah, I'm sure you could pull out some real gorgeous stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Can get a so I can actually get something? Yeah, no, this is a little more intense. Some of these dealers be gone on Sunday. Uh, I don't know what Kino is doing. I think uh, the ones at uh, the Gem Mall in the Hall Dome. I think they're closing out. But Kino's probably going to run for a while. Any more people on here with channels? ERs? Gloves? You think glove? Yeah, Ken. Black Opal? Yeah, this stuff is great. This piece is amazing. So we can go. 80 gram, completely clear. Firewater Opal making a custom. Got two pieces. Hold on, let's get one. It's the yellow light. It's almost impossible to see. Oh, wait, wait. He told me three. You, you can even ask him. I can't really make much heads or tails of this. Um, let's see down here. There we go. Yeah, no, no, it's all good, bro. In hydro. Oh, the big Opal. Could it have had in hydro? That would be crazy. Is that what you're talking about? Out of boro glass. Oh. <laughs> Let's go for a stroll. It's great material. Here's some of Sprite's faves. Oh, here's my stuff. All right, everybody, you're not allowed to watch this. So this one's one that Sprite would love right here. That's a Sprite piece. I can point them out now. Yeah, you're gonna have to. So, if anybody wants to get these and then donate them to the uh, Sprite and Sprite Fund, I'm just kidding. This is awesome material. I'll get it for somebody to show uh, what we're doing with them. So that was two hundred three dollars. No, so it's three for both. The thirty-three gram one was two hundred and forty, and then he dropped it to three dollars a gram. Um, I bought two little pieces for twenty bucks. I shouldn't have bought. I have so much of the material at home. What are you talking about? Sujale. Uh, 
I have a it's ton a nice, of sewage. A nice uh, sixty dollar piece. It's got a little ding in it, but. You're definitely allowed to watch your family. This is actually Everybody Rocks' YouTube channel. I just borrow it. These are pretty cool. These are from Colombia. These golden ones. I met the miners. Is this, um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I see you're busy. Is this the Colombian variation? Yes, this is the Colombian. Oh, very cool. I talk to my friends about this a lot. It almost looks like the elite uh, it Russian. It's fantastic. New Shungite from Colombia. Here's some, I think they call this Vivianite. So it's Rocky Right is what it's called. And then um, it's the elite, it's elite Shungai from Colombia. So it's the same, it's the same configuration. The only thing is this one, uh, there it is. This one is 94 carbon and and um, uh, lead from the Russians up to 98. It's not has to be. Right, but also the, the stuff that we see, like spheres and stuff are made out of is closer to 30 for the chalkier stuff, right? right. So it's, this it's, is really good stuff. Yeah, this is the elite, yeah. The other stuff, yeah, you can't make spheres out of this. You can't even carve out of this. Um, what are you spheres. selling it for, brother? Uh, 100 a kilo. Oh, and a lot more affordable than the Russian elite, yeah, too. Totally. Fantastic. Totally. So, and if you buy more, like 10 or more kilos, I can drop the price. I got an offer right now to buy a ton. So Heck yeah. All I have. Hey, that's a great thing. <laughs> yeah, it is. I just got to get it all together. In the meantime, I'm you know, selling it all. We have great stuff. It's our, one of our biggest sellers. Hey, Sprint. You ready to cruise? Yeah. He's, he's over there. He's crystal crazy. Well, show what I do. You made it all nice and pretty? Yeah, I moved them away from each other so they're not open. So we will be going live tomorrow from McKay Anderson's booth and perhaps Jeffrey Hills, Jeremy Hills. Oh, how you doing? I'm so happy to see you again. Yo, hi. How, where have you been? You weren't here last year, right? I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you got the tape off and you got a real color now. Last time I saw this, it was covered in tape. A uh, uh, blue tape. Uh, you made a lot of changes. It's fantastic. Changes. I'm excited. Are you demoing it this year? Yeah, yeah we can set it up. I'll come, by, I'll come by tomorrow. When I'll bring an apron so I don't get messy. And the, an apron here. Oh, then you're good to go. Then I'll bring something over to cut. Cut a piece of turquoise or something. So it won't take too long, you know? Fantastic. So this is the jewels and tools machine. These are really, really cool. Uh, proprietary wheels by them. Great spacing. Last time I saw this, it was still kind of in prototype. I'm happy to see this thing's out. Great valves. The valves are brass, unlike Cab King, which are plastic. These are brass um, valves. Really cool, man. So good to see you guys again. They have some of the most affordable uh, wheels in the industry. I like to uh, get, they have like, they have like 36, 46. Yeah, here's a 40. Oh, Mr. Best. How you doing, Mr. Best? I'm gonna come by and bug you if you don't mind. Oh, it's always good to see you, Mr. Best. So I see you have good taste. <laughs> Thank you. 
some of those big uh, great western machines in the, the one inch shaft. Oh, nice. Yeah. They're older than I am. <laughs> Jeff Best, ladies and gentlemen, the turquoise guru. <laughs> yeah, these guys are great. I use their hard wheels. Um, I love their blades. They're so affordable that uh, you don't need to sweat it. You know what I mean? You can buy like 50 packs, 100 packs. They're here at the Kino show. I haven't seen them for a couple of years. I'm definitely going to come by and buy like... Uh, a bunch of their four inch blades. Here's another one, same unit. Again, I can't see it, but you see, it looks like steel or brass, which is awesome. And that is Jewels and Tools. Check them out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Jewels and Tools with an N. That's important to remember. Jewelsandtools.com. Fantastic. All right, spread I'm moseying. Oh, he's meditating over here. Yeah, I look different. I got really fat. <laughs> Whoa, those are nice. Put your umbrella in there. <laughs> These are most likely lathed. I like that one. With the set. What can you do without the set? It's a beautiful Pakistani onyx. It's actually an aragonite. Fantastic. Do you think that this is lathed? with sp spun. It, it couldn't be this perfect if it wasn't. That's fantastic. Really, really cool. Let's look at the Brazilian birds. That is cool. I so I was interviewing some folks at the Denver show about the manufacturing of these. You would think, because they're so nicely done, that one person would make them all. But they were telling me like somebody's cutting the, it's like parted out. Someone's working on a crown, someone's working on the beak, someone's working on the bird. And then it's gonna be fine, you know, it's gonna be worked a little bit better after it's all put together. Look at these unikite owls. Hmm. This one's intense. That's all one piece? The quartz, um, Oh, yeah, it is. So the, the wing, this, this whole body is one piece. Hold on, the wing. <laughs> the wing on the, the sides? Well, I don't know, but that's why she has the, uh, the sign, because maybe the body is, but that's yeah, the, the beak is. The court. Yeah. yeah, the beak is a different piece, but I meant the wings and the body. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not even my business. I don't even know why I'm telling you that, but it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not touching. No touchies. I like the quail. Oh. So on the quail... Is that lapis? You got, a um, an, you got a mook height beak. Hey, lapis. What would you call that? Seven. Oh, it's, it's like labradorite body. Cool. Oh, can't tell what the middle piece is, but these are fantastic. The Roadrunner. Is that that opal in the beak? It is. It looks like Peruvian opal. And then the face looks like a chrysocolla, perhaps also from Peru. The eye. The eye is tough to tell. It might be something else. Cinnabar. Cinnabar. Look at that rhodochrosite uh, iguana there. Oh, yeah. Oh, really cool. good price. With your friends. Only $150. You could probably put that in a retail shop for like 600 700 bucks. Okay. I wonder, you know that Peru has really good rhodochrosite too. Everybody talks about the Argentina material. Uh -huh. I don't know about either. Nice gecko. Not gecko, it's an iguana. Very nicely done.
some eggs, handmade in Morocco. So my good friend Walker Stevens went to Kem Kem in Morocco, was belly slithering down in the hole, smoking hash down there with the miners. Uh, check out the video. It's from my Denver series. Would you go belly slithering down and smoke hash yeah, in the Kem Kem? I'll smoke hash outside. <laughs> outside the cave. Look at the camels. <laughs> Let me hear your best camel impersonation. <laughs> Mine's. <laughs> Fantastic. Have you ever rode a camel before? Can you show us your favorite piece of Veneta night? Will you show me? Which one do you like the most? And she may still be there. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You got good taste. And so this isn't from Kem Kem. This is from Medelt? Or? From Medelt, yeah. Medelt. Fantastic. I want to go. Maybe I'll catch a ride back with you. No. Let's go to Morocco. No, you <laughs> So Walker Stevens, he rode his bike all the way across Morocco. Wow. Didn't have a lot of money. People were bringing him into their house, oh, yeah. feeding him, having, oh. you know, he didn't oh, have to worry about anything. That's yeah, he's outside working for the Norwegians. From Medelt, sometimes folks will mine all day and not find anything. That's hard for a And in an industry where you're selling it to a, a supplier, you know what I mean? You're selling it to someone who's paying you for not just what you find and not by the hour, by the day, but for the quality of what you find. It can be rough. And so if anyone's interested in really supporting the direct Moroccan miners, check out that video. In the video, I show off, uh, I give out some information of some families that you can buy from direct. He, Walker is gonna do, Walker will, you know, Western Union and the money. Garnet. Yeah, it's great. Androdite, or what do you call it? Garnet, Garnet. Garnet, Garnet. Right. Have you seen their, their um, What pie? is the kilo price? The one 300 for whole. For the whole bucket. Yeah. Okay, wow. Look how many pieces they have. 300 bucket. 300. All right. 300. Thank you. Here's some beads. Who here likes beads? I love the beads. These are some nephrite jade. All natural color. $33 a strand, and most of the time, you'll find them that they're 50% off or some kind of natural discount. Here's some rotocrosite beads. I love beads too. What I really like is the faceted chrysoprase beads. Like sometimes you see, those are really cool. They're over there. Over here? Yeah, I don't work here, but Oh, right. nice. You got good taste. Yeah. We saw those too. Check these out. Faceted oh, chrysoprase beads. What a trip. Oh, these are cool. Turkish lavender jade. It's um, it's the jade, the, it's actually a jadeite mineral inside of this material. It's not a nephrite jade. Really cool stuff. Comes from Turkey. My good friend Veggie uh, works for the Turkish government. And I think he has a big part of bringing this material over. There's a pink variation of that that has just been discovered. Check that out. You can find the rough material at the Tucson show place. It's really cool. So Sprite has disappeared on me. Where did Sprite go? He's like the wind. Uh, 
This is cool material. I haven't seen this in years. Did you folks used to vend at River Park? Uh, you know, I, I, the Saturn Cal Sydney, I'm joint ventures with Greg Genevieve's Oh, who's at River Park? He's at River Park. This is really cool stuff. Yeah. And where's it from? Europe. Oh, cool. You think you would have seen it all over the place in a place where they're mining so many different things, but it's nothing better than having an exclusive material. Is it really a Jasper? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. It almost looks like an aragonite or um, like a calcite. So you know this is going to take a good polish. Saturn Cal Sydney, only $100 a kilo, $45 a pound. Yeah, excuse me. No problem. I didn't put my sign up today. Great stuff. I saw a giant sphere that was being made out of this on a rotundal. I don't know if it was your partners doing that it. That was the Logis making that. They were our From Brazil, right? Brazil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was so awesome to see that thing spin. Yeah, we have that. We have that sphere. Really cool material that not a lot of people are working. This one would be cool to just hit on like a big bull wheel and have a nice big specimen. Yeah, the sign's nice. Nice and colorful. They've got good taste. Let's see if we can find Sprite. He's wandering around. Some jewelry tools. Can never have too many calipers. $24 for the scale. That's not bad. I get most of my scales from head shops and towels. So I'm always iffy on how accurate they are. These are cool for grabbing facets if you show off a lot of facets. What I want, I want a pin vise. I'm having a hard time finding pin vices. I can go to Kent's Tools. I bought one last year at Kent's and I lost it. Gold testing kits. So the different acids will dissolve different qualities of gold. 22, 18, 10. So in America, you would probably mostly use 10, 14, um, 18, 24, uh, 22. Not too much jewelry in the United States that is actually made in the United States is made with 24 karat. You're starting to see that more and more. But uh, I really appreciate 24 karat. And I wouldn't mind, like, you know... When it comes to like big hoop earrings, like overseas, they'll be 24 karat, but it'll be hollow. So the utmost of fragile pieces. Big sheet of mica, probably for finding UFOs in the sky. It has the, uh, what's that ink that is inside of the, um, the aura glasses? A silodine or something? A silodine? You guys know that story? For making those glasses from They Live. So Sprite definitely ran away. The Moroccan gentleman was pitching him something. Uh, and Sprite obviously wasn't interested in buying very expensive Moroccan minerals. And so he ran away, and I found him. There you are. I was just telling people, he had to get out of there. That guy wanted to sell you those minerals, dude. 200 was his uh, deal. <clears throat> he asked you how much. You know what you say to really? I said 100. Well, yeah, that's not bad. You say 40. <laughs> that'll just stop. That'll stop all of that right there. Yeah, yeah. I like the, the sound. I heard you dead. Did you hear it? I heard yeah, I'm trying to stay away from it so the video doesn't get taken down. Oh. Oh, they don't do copyright shit. Oh, yeah, they do. How you doing, brother? Yes, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? Good. Are you blogger or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Are you making video for YouTube? Mm-hmm. Showing off the cool stuff. I really like these pyramids. These ones are a little bit better. These are like Dungeons and Dragons dice. Yeah, D&D. <laughs> yeah. Since they're not perfectly weighted, you're going to hit that. You find out which side's always hitting, and that's the number four right there. You know what I mean? 
Ten dollars a bag. Yes. The black tourney. Here, show them. Oh, nice. This is black tourney. Ten dollars a bag. From Brazil, by the way. From Brazil. Brazil. Excellent. Brazil. Yeah, once I get my phone calls, then uh, I'll be able to... Uh, and that's when Renee gets here? So, thanks to everybody who helped Sprite get those subscribers so they can do a live. They're doing a new thing where you can go live with someone else on YouTube. They'll split the screen in half. So, he can be on one side of the gem show and people can watch him and then... It's kind of new. Whoa, I didn't know that. They just started like a week ago. Wow. And they call it Go Live Together. I haven't tried it yet. Because this guy's too broke to pay for phone service. <laughs> no, he just doesn't need it. He has Wi-Fi. These are nice. I really like seeing these when they're natural. Like this piece here with some beautiful Sagenetic sprays going on. Don't move. Uh, we got to raise that part up. <laughs> these are agate slides. Yeah, they have a lot of colors, but these are the natural color slides. Yeah, that's better. I like this one. Yeah, like this one, especially the blue and the pink ones. I mean, like, you know, pink or something. <coughs> oh, that's a great one. Yeah. Especially the very cold ones, you can see the, in the amethyst inside the agates. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is what well, this one is really bad. <laughs> what part of Brazil do they come from? Uh, you know, Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo, yeah. Yes. Is that the capital? Uh, no, it's. No, it's not capital. Uh, Rio is the capital. Right? Yeah, it was. It just changed maybe 20 years ago. They're just moving it around all over the place. <laughs> yes. And now, capital name is Brazil. Oh, nice. Yeah, and country name and capital name is same. Brazil, Brazil. <laughs> so, Paulo is kind of an expensive city. <laughs> oh, I imagine. Yes. Where are you from in Brazil? My brother lives in Brazil. So oh, nice. You have to provide him good stuff. Oh, fantastic. You got a man on the ground over there. Yes, definitely. <laughs> you should have a man around the world. <laughs> Look at the uh, life plan. This, this is only 262 Yes. That's so, a really good does price. Does this go with yeah, it? This is here, yes. It's growing in the agates. And sometimes just grow quartz and sometimes grow amethyst. Will you gently put that on top? No. Okay. <laughs> Well, we could show right here, these at folks at home, they slice the top. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Oh, this is awesome. kind of, you know, weird, but this guy is really popular. Oh, yeah. Look. And they're super affordable. This guy, two times smaller than this, but I'm priced Four times, times better, than yeah. This. That's a much better stone. You can put your keys in there. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice top. Yeah, these are. Yeah, this is the amethyst growing. The, you know, yeah. agates. This one. This is only one hundred dollars. That's cheap. You can't get a hotel in Tucson for a hundred dollars. Yes. Tucson hotels two hundred and eighty dollars. Especially during the you know rock show. I sleep in the ditch behind the the venue here. There's a big ditch running across Kino. Yes. I just go over there when no one's looking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I mean, you're good. I mean, they used to let us camp here. My grand, we, I sell here too. And they used to let us camp here, but they don't do it anymore. Too many people using the bathroom over there in the ditch where I sleep. <laughs> this one's only $74. <laughs> Tina, you wanna, do you have a card? A friend of mine would like to buy one of these. So, Tina, I'm going to give you this gentleman's information. Make sure to contact him. And I won't, I, I'm not going to sell it to you, Tina, but this young man, he'll invoice you. You'll invoice, she'll text you. You send her an invoice, you ship it to her. I don't like to be the middleman. I just like looking at the stuff. What's your name, brother? Uh, e -L -P -E -R, Alpesh. Alpesh. I'm David. David, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. So, here, anybody who's interested, take a screenshot. It is an American phone number. And, uh, and it's the other side. They have two locations. What's better for you? This one's 707? Uh, I'm pretty 
Okay. I'll show off both. Ask for Alpesh. Tell them which ones you want. First location in Portside, Arizona, and second one is San Francisco, California. Fantastic. You know, to make it easier, if you could take a screenshot of a particular piece here, just let them know, hey, I want this one at the Kino show. Make sure to give Alpesh a raise. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, anybody. Either side of the card's fine. Let him know you saw the video. Alpesh is going to take me out to dinner when you guys buy the whole table. <laughs> sure, I will. <laughs> Thank you, brother. How, how, many, uh, how, how many subscribers? Only 28,000, but... It's a lot. That's well, a lot. it's a small community like 28,000 for cars not a lot 28,000 for uh, Pokemon cards not a lot 28,000 for rocks that's a lot you know what I mean like because because it's a little it's a specialty you know yes okay, you know, everyone know each other. yeah exactly like I'll see everybody watches each other's videos and Thank you, brother. You're welcome. I'm coming back when this table's gone. We're going out. We're going to... We're not going to Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, my brother. Sure, of course. Have a nice lunch. You too. Oh, it's from Tampa? No, not Tampa. Yeah, some of it. It's from Tampa? Yeah, some of it. The black. It's fantastic. Yeah, this so, Tampa. Is it true that they're not... So, so, I've heard the rumor that they're not really allowing people to just go mine it as easy as it used to be. Is it... Yeah, no, I'm, I beg your pardon? Well, that's particularly great for someone like you who has a lot of beauties. And um, so, so I guess it must be true or it's a really good rumor. Um, is, it, is it like claims or do you, is it, it's not really technically a mine. Yeah, yeah, it's basically just private property. Yeah. And would you um, do you dive? Uh, sometimes that's how we wire. Can you ever get it with that, like Everything. just snorkeling or just you could. mucking around in the yeah, mud? You could, but you know, you find it in uh, like digging the foundations. If you dig down to the clay, you'll find it. But did you folks used to do the Twenty Second Street show? We did not. Oh, okay. There were some young, some young men over there years ago. They don't do it anymore. I haven't seen any dedicated fossil coral people, yeah, except for you this year. Do you have a card? That's even, that's fine. That's even better. Look at this nice book match. Yeah, that's an amazing place. And so, if you don't mind me asking, are you folks doing the polishing? Is it a vibrolap? Is it a bull wheel? He makes all his own equipment. Heck yeah. Are you Larry? He's Larry. Awesome. Oh, thank you so much. It's a beautiful book match. Hey, Larry, I hear you make all of your own equipment for uh, processing the material. I do, just because the cost of the stuff so expensive and it's hard to find material that, that fits small equipment. It's hard to find equipment that fits large material. Absolutely. Would you say that you're, you're, what you're making is probably the best for your job? It would work for other people. You know, I make really, really good flat laps and really good reciprocate laps. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I love equipment. I do a lot of gear reviews online. I'm a, I'm a our channel is sponsored by Diamond Pacific, so I use a lot of their stuff, but I'm obsessed with new stuff and homemade stuff. And you if you prototype my tools after theirs for the most part. Let's be honest. When you think of a reciprocating lap, it's either a four leg, a three leg, or a single pedestal like some of the early ones, like the iron ones. But again, it's like 
I just don't think they've called up to the idea that the cost of our machines costs more than because people can afford to dabble in this stuff. Right. So again, like for me, before I go buy a lap for five grand, I can go to my fab shop and build one for eighteen hundred. Yeah. I just, you know, you know what I'm saying. I just can't. No, I do the same. Even though I'm sponsored by them, they're all about me telling, teaching people how to make their own machines. Yeah. I teach people you can turn a drill press upside down and make a flat lap real easy. Listen. You can put it sideways and put an expandable belt on there too. The, the thing I've learned about most most lapidary applications is learning what the peripheral edge needs to be speed wise for the grit you're grinding with. Mm -hmm. So like with my material, I think the sweet spot for me, I'm running 18 to 20 inch flat lap wheels and they're turning 50 to 60 miles an hour. Ooh. And that's making that, that peripheral edge turn just enough to where I'm cutting material and I'm keeping the heat down, which to me is real critical. Is it is it particularly critical for this material or just in general for a lot of what you in cut? In general, because you know, some materials don't handle heat as easy, like an opal can't handle heat as easy. Right, where jade kind of can sometimes like it. Yeah, and um, if I, I was working softer materials, I would slow that peripheral edge down. Yeah. So I would, I would re-gear, you know, maybe put a jack leg on and slow that um, that wheel down. But for these agates, I kind of think 55, 60 miles an hour on that peripheral edge is, is pretty good. And I use that as a joke. But again, the speed of that peripheral edge is where most of the cuttings happen in the flat line. Uh, so being a cutter myself, polish is really important to me. And you are getting some mirror polishes, brother. Yeah, and again, if you look closely, you'll see a line or two. I don't do a show polish. I do a production polish. If I wanted to slow down and really, really get that, that good luster, I could. But, you know, when I'm doing 15,000 pieces a year, I'm production. And it would cost a lot more money, exactly. too. Exactly. That's recycling. Um, so this one, is this one worked on a flat lap, or is it worked on something like silicon carbide? I did that on a flat lap with silicon carbide. Yeah, I, could, I feel like I could tell it's silicon carbide and not a regular, um, not like a diamond disc. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. I can't afford to buy diamonds. Even even though the cost of diamonds come down, I just listen. I go through 600, 1200 pounds of carbide a year. Oh I smokes! I can't go through you know diamond like that. Are you in Tampa? Uh, I'm north of Tampa, about two hours. Larry, I'm in Florida all the time. I was born and raised in the Treasure Coast. I want to come find you and take a look at your shop yeah, sometime. Man. I'm David. Yeah, man. Larry, nice I have a YouTube channel called Lapidary Dave, where I teach people how to to cut and carve and awesome, uh, showcase a lot of vendors and people who are actually doing their own mining and stuff. And I am so passionate about lapidary yeah, and machines too, and stuff. Well, I'm, a, I'm a mason by trade. Oh, so, so you, you so were great already, at this. Yeah, I was already standing by these tools. And then another guy said, hey, you can do this with them. And then it, I was like, so then I just kind of took a different path. You know, I still do masonry work. But um, again, I got into this building machines for myself pretty much. And um, does, so is the goal to get as many book matches as possible? Uh, as a collector myself, I like keeping the match pairs. Do I would think you would always try if you can. And, oh, and wow. some of them that don't have it, is it just because it, it, it didn't have a good shape to be a book match? Oh, wow. And then when I cut them, they just fit pulled together. They might have fell from maybe a premium fracture. So again, like when I cut a side, if one side falls apart, I just throw it in another barrel. And then when I get 500 or 1,000 pounds, I throw it in a big tumbler and tumble it. Fantastic. Yeah, and like I say, each year I do a little different stuff, experiment. You know, last year I bought maybe a thousand pounds of tumbled material, some of them as big as this. Oh, wow. I got good, re I got good feedback, but a lot of people were so into it. It was hard to compete with the tumble market because of the value that these other guys are giving with the material because they're tumbling in dump trucks. Mm -hmm. I'm not. So again, the cost of my product was maybe out of its band, so I just didn't bring a lot of that tumble material. And uh, when it comes to like these flats, are these sold by the flat like alone you won't break it up I, I would if somebody just wanted a pair but again my value was in the flat if somebody mm -hmm. was to resell again like you said this is kind of a wholesale price if you just wanted a single pair i'd probably yeah. retail it what would a flat like this go for this flat right and again i don't guess prices i do itemize and price myself before right you can't because everyone's so different yeah so this flat right here is 210. that's on, on that's a great price. deal and again it only averages out like seven to ten maybe twelve dollars a piece this is worth 210 it in is. a nice it, stand it is it is and here's my deal i'm a collector i've already took what i wanted off this table i cut it so once i get this inventory up it's it's collector grade but it doesn't make my status so again i want to flip this back into the environment that i live in and then go back and buy more blades and buy more material and this is nothing no more than a problem Oh, Larry, you're a great man. Yeah, man. Good ethical man. Yeah, like I said, I want people to be able to do something with the rock because I want to be able to get another batch from the gentleman I buy from and cut and polish. So folks here, 
watching at home who might not be able to pick it up from you here at the show, would you ever consider shipping? You know, I, I just can't meet the demand here more or less start going shipping. Yeah. You know, if I had somebody that befriended me that come on and a piece up, I would be after that. But just the average person coming to my house, I wouldn't. No, I understand. And do you do any other shows besides Tucson? You know, I did a couple earlier, but again, two years on production, I only do one show every two years. So this is the one. Get it while you can. Yeah, again, it'll take me two years to get in for that. Um, can I? I'm gonna. No problem. I'm gonna go look at your brochure again. And uh, I'll get this. This might be enough information. Larry T. How do I say the last name? Tedderton. All Tedderton. All T's and long E's. Tedderton. <laughs> yeah, all T's and long E's. Yeah. Larry Tedderton is a beast, making manufacturing his own machines to work his material. This stuff is absolutely stunning. Look at that. And uh, yeah, you got to come here to Kino to get it. He doesn't, he's not doing shipping right now. He's um, doing great things. This flat's 250 bucks. This piece alone is worth 250 bucks. Go ahead and send him a text if anyone is interested in anything. I can definitely pick you up some of this material. Well, Sprite can. I'm a little busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sprite's doing shopping for people, we, you know. Uh, you, but you can contact me to get a hold of Sprite. I'm not going to put his phone number up on the channel like I do. Someone found out that someone has made a, a uh, PayPal account. There's a PayPal account going around that's another Lapidary Dave. That I'm not convinced that it's not me trying to log into myself and accidentally creating another PayPal account. But um, most people know, don't send me money just for sending me money. Uh, you, you know, text me first, even if you feel, you know, some people want to donate or whatever. Text me first. Everybody has my number. Go ahead and put my number up here. Uh, somebody, please put it up in the chat. And uh, let, it, let us know if you'd like Sprite to pew up anything. You can let us know your budget. Even if you're not looking to spend 250 bucks, it would be a pleasure to buy stuff from someone like Larry Tedderton and his partners here. Um, beautiful Tampa, Florida material. Beautiful Tampa, Florida material. It would be a pleasure to pick some of this stuff up for you folks. I, I saw that piece before. Look at the color of this. From the, the over, the calcedony on those bots. I don't think, um, some kind Whoa. of cross. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That would be cool under a glass that table. Is special, yeah. A very small glass table. A tall and skinny, <laughs> all glass, a feats glass. Imagine putting this around the fireplace. Yeah, look at this one here. You know. Nice, beautiful angel wings. Very, for what they are, Mr. Tedderton is He's keeping the prices really real, him and his partners. They're really affordable, beautiful quartz overgrowth. I kind of absolutely love this. I would love to get my aunt and uncle this, this um, book match here. A glass table for a bong? Yes. What do you say, Sprite? If it's a glass bong, that could be a problem. Oh, oh Finn, no way. It gets even better. Uh, I mentioned <laughs> that. I said, uh, Holy smokes. It's turning nice and green. It would be so much more green, but there's so many lights here, folks. Um... Do these orange ones fluoresce at all? Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I know that's, oh yeah, that one's intense. Beautiful green. So the greens usually is chalcedony, I believe that fluoresces. Um, I think oranges are fluorites, but it, it really varies. Fantastic. How long do you think they've been mining, uh, well, harvesting the material in Florida? That's what started around probably the, you know, our first geological surveys come through in the 1880s. But I want to say probably around the 50s or 60s is when it started to kind of tick up. I imagine, was it, was it one gentleman or lady that kind of got it going? I think it was a crew of them. It primarily consisted of about four main guys in Tampa. And they were a little quick. That's a great one. Um, 
you know, most of them kind of faded into other hobbies, but one particular gentleman stayed with it pretty much the whole time, and that was Jerry Giles. Jerry Giles. Yeah, you heard of him? No. Okay. But I'm going to definitely look into it. Yeah, I think he was publicated in his first Gym and Mineral magazine in 1972. Do you happen to know maybe what magazine it was? Was it Lapidary Journal or something? Uh, you know, it was, it was a pamphlet, like a softback book. Again, I've read it, but I can't remember the actual publication. But it was around the 70s, like 72, I want to say. Oh, fantastic. Jerry Giles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to look into that. I mean, that's the guy that taught me. Oh, really? In the flesh? Yes. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's how I got That's like, it. you're the karate kid, and that was Mr. Miyagi. Exactly. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you for sharing. See you guys soon. I'm really passionate about Florida material. Love the Tampa stuff. I tried to go down and visit the rocks over there in Okeechobee. I didn't really get to do it. Where's Sprite? Sprite's around here somewhere. So if you folks are just now tuning in, in the description section of this video is a link to Sprite's YouTube channel. Make sure to check it out uh, and subscribe to his channel. We'll be doing some split lives when his phone shows up. The beautiful Miss Renee will be bringing him a phone. Why did Sprite go? He just disappeared. He's like the wind. He's a ninja. Some beautiful gaspiites. Do they have any of the Saturn material cut? I don't know. Here, is that it? No. Is this the Saturn material cut? No, that's Indonesian river jasper. Do you happen to have any of the Saturn I don't. material worked? No, no caps. Next year. No. <laughs> Greg handles the Saturn caps. Oh, okay. I only saw the rock. We saw 14 times last year. Holy smokes. Beautiful chilies. I got tired of waiting for it to be cut in the cab. Couldn't sell them fast enough. I don't want that. I can't keep paying storage on this. Yeah. We paid storage on it for four years. 300, 360 bucks every month. Okay, oh, it adds up. Oh, it does. He keeps driving the cost of your rock up. You're driving you crazy. That's dry head for Montana. Fantastic. There you are. I was looking for you. I was looking for you. Is this. See ya. Angel, there you are. I've been looking for you. Doing great. Good to see you, brother. And see some of your stuff. So you and your father are mining this material? We're digging it. Fantastic. I'd love to, if you don't mind, maybe sometime uh, uh, I'll ask your father here in a bit. He's, he's in a conversation. I'd love to come talk with you folks. Beautiful angel wing verisite. How long have you folks been mining this material? Can I see your necklace? Don't take it off, it looks better on your neck. Look at that, he's a great bead cutter. That is stunning. So it looks like the black matrix is even taking a gray polish. Which is like, so I was cutting some like, Kalina and some Desert Bloom and it kind of flat on me, you know? That is awesome. Do you have any cut cabochons here? I'd love to come back by for a proper interview. If your father is up to it, I don't know if, he, if he's down. Um, I was wondering if I could come by sometime before the end of Kino for an interview. Uh, I'm a huge fan of your material, and also I heard that you have a lot to do with bringing Chinese material over. I did in the past. And uh, and um, did you do you know a gentleman named Daniel Lopaki? Oh yeah. I figured because he was in the early days. There's another gentleman in Santa Fe who owns a nice shop, and he must have 
been associated with you as well. But I'll find the gentleman's name. I think so. Yes, it was Doug. When I first started bringing rock in, I, uh, I set up in the, across from the oldest church, the, in the oldest house in, in the U.S. Oh, wow. That's what they call it. By the pizza uh, place. And started selling. In Santa Fe? Yeah, in Santa Fe, yeah. Is that where it, the it's by a pizza place now? Yeah. Well, no, no. I mean, that, uh, this is where I'm at now. I bought this building in Crescent Valley. This is Dal Ward's old Fox Turquoise Company headquarters. Oh wow! But this this chapter is all about my project in China. Is this book for sale? Uh, yeah, you can order it online. But this tells the whole story about how I got in there and got permission to go to Hubei. It was a closed area. Nobody could go in there when I first Holy smokes. In. And were they mining it at all? Uh, yeah, they were mining. And, yeah. and the mine is called the Yungai Temple Mine. And the Yungai Temple is on the top of the mountain. This is the Yungai Temple. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Uh, look like a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and this is me at the entrance to the Yungai Temple Mine. And I had to build a lapidary shop. Holy smokes. From scratch. I just had to design the machines and, you know, do all the welding. And Yeah, I'd love to come by for a proper interview. Um, yeah. You just, a lot of people don't know that there is high-grade, unstabilized tur Chinese turquoise. And uh, unfortunately, because of a this lot of all, prejudice, this is all natural. there's a lot of prejudice with anything from China because of. Um, That's natural. That is stunning. Lopaki made that for me. Oh yeah, Danny. Yeah. Mr. Lopaki. Yep. That's natural turquoise, hard natural. This is natural Chinese turquoise. And so. A lot of the patterns that Chinese turquoise is faking is patterns based off of their high-grade Chinese. Like with the black webbings and stuff you'll see in cheaper blocks. Not all blocks are bad, but there are bad blocks. Do you mind if we see you again? The very best. Yeah, that's great. But um, yeah, I'd love to come and talk to you about Chinese turquoise, what you're digging now. People don't know that there's different variations of Chinese turquoise besides just Hubei. Um, well, uh, turquoise in several areas of China. There's in uh, Anhui province in eastern China at the iron mine there. That's where you get the Maanshan and red skin. Is Maanshan? This is from Yungai Temple Mine in Hubei. All this material. Yeah. Would this be considered what some people call Tibetan? Well, yeah. the, the Tibetans for centuries have been using this turquoise. But what they do is they met the Chinese in Chengdu and they traded with the Tibetans in Chengdu. So they would kind of meet them halfway. But that trade route is an ancient trade route for Tibetan goods. This is from Anhui province, this material. Oh, beautiful. And so the Manshan and the, are, is the Manshan and the Redskin the same material? It's from the same mine. This is Manshan and Redskin. Oh, wow, that's great stuff. A lot of the stabilized stuff I see has a lot of yellows and stuff, which is beautiful. Yeah. But that looks really different. That reminds me of that poppy jasper we saw. Those would go nicely. In a this is stunning, life. dude. I love. Chinese turquoise. Mr. Lopaki got me addicted to it. A lot of people just do not know that there is gem grade Chinese turquoise. And it, actually, a lot of it's people don't care to pay attention because there's so much prejudice about anything from China because of the industry and people feeling like jobs are getting stolen. But it's just China. It's only China. Nobody says, I'm not using that from it, from, from, uh, <laughs> yeah. from Iran or. Yeah. You know, I mean, look, you know. This is better than a lot of American. Oh, yeah. Like, a lot of American. A lot. It's real hard rock. And, you know, it has so many different looks because that Yungai Temple Mine is hundreds of miles of tunnels, okay? You can't walk it. And so it's like going to Nevada and going underground and then digging and connecting all these different mines in, in Nevada, in the whole region, you know? underground so yeah of course you're pulling out all these different looks you know? if you don't mind me asking here in, um, here in, the, in this country they'd be totally different mines you know right do you Most sell of any of the uh, any turquoise rough here uh we have some pots oh i've met you in, so you used to be based out of santa fe did you do the little uh, de Vargas 
the the Vargas market outside the parking lot. Let's see, where did we? Um, we didn't set up at Santa Fe, but, uh, but we, you know, we go to Santa Fe. Oh and man! We see people we know. No, that's the, yeah, it must I'm be gonna, different. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get a group in the market. What a cool way to cut this. That is so crazy. Nice specimen piece. He like did a reverse cabochon in the nugget. Like the cab is part of the rock. That is just too cool. So your son's a great bead maker. Did he learn it from you? He's a phosphate kid. This is some of the angeling. It, it comes in pseudomorphs, and uh, you don't know what's on the inside <laughs> until you cut it. Oh, wow. But that is gem grade stuff, man. But on the outside, it just looks like that. All right. Did it sell at this show? What's that? Did that piece sell at this show? Yeah. Fantastic. And is this, it almost looks like chrysoprase. Is that also Verisite? Is it not Lucian or something, is it? That's what I thought. You guys, Lucian's so every day that you guys don't need any of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Even the black matrix, like I was I was cutting some Kalina Verde and it was just falling apart on me. This this black the matrix is stunning. And it's natural, it's not stabilized. No, this is all natural. This is a fun piece. That is too cool. Tasty. Looks yeah, like that's a great one. This one, you probably wouldn't even need to pre-polish. You probably just hit it with some Zam and it glow. <laughs> yeah, that'd buff right up. So I imagine you gentlemen probably just have your secret stash at home of the coolest stuff ever. Yeah, we have a little hoard. As you should. Yeah. It's cooler than gold. This is a stunning piece right here. This is the classic black and white. Nice micro web. Are you the first folks to work with Angel Wing? Uh, no. No, the mine, uh, the mine's been uh, worked by the the masons, and uh, and then you know it's we're about a half a mile from from Ernie Montoya's uh, New Lander. Are they still working New Lander? No, well we work it a little bit for Ernie. Oh, that's a great piece. I yeah, love the this, yellows. This will have that black matrix in it. You know, so. It's probably 40 grams right there, $80. Jason's been cutting the yellow. Look at those you beads. Know, they're, they're really soft color and they take a good polish. It's real hard rock. Are you guys know? using pin vices or something? Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Look at that. People. Isn't that killer? Look at that. It doesn't get better. You know? Yeah. If it gets better than that, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Anyway, Ron, I'm going to come back um, it, probably in a weekday, so I'm not impeding on your customers and stuff. It'd be such a pleasure. I live and breathe turquoise. I uh, noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't thank you enough for your kindness. All right. Thank you, Ron. This one, I should just buy this one right now. You got some cash? Yeah, I got some cash. Hey, brother, can you weigh this for me? I'm gonna go rub that at the Diamond Pacific booth. Twelve dollars. You got six bucks I can borrow spray? No, I'm How <laughs> I'll give you a card. If you don't mind. This time I'll make sure not to put my card on camera. Okay. That's all. <laughs> like at the Durango show. Yeah, I was so hungry and wanted to buy like a hot oh, it was a soda. And I put my card on camera. All your viewers and honors. Look at this piece. This is fun just as it is. And your 
followers were asking you, what's the security number? Yeah, right. Oh, gosh. 849, of course. <laughs> That's a beautiful one. This yeah. You don't even need a pre-polish. You could hit it with some like compound, and it's a specimen piece. Wire but you could put it in jewelry. Yeah, wire wrap for sure. I don't have anything against wire wrap. Uh, I think it's when it's when it's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, what I'm gonna say is when it's good, it's great. You know what I mean? Can you throw this on? Give me an idea. So 80. So 50. No, 40. 90. 20 something. 23 grams. Yeah, 46 bucks. That's a great one. Anybody want it? Did you get their card on here? Yeah, I'll, I'll get it. Oh, yeah, we're, I'm, yeah, I'll, I'll, it's right here. And I'm going to come back and do a proper interview with the gentleman. I'd love to uh, talk more about his stuff. Ron Alexander. Check them out. If anyone's interested in any of their material, their hand mine material, any of these beautiful necklaces. I'm going to show this off really quick. Yeah, Feel free to give them a call. Doing that mix up, but no, yeah. most beads are being milled overseas and stuff. And no, I'm just saying, uh, yeah. put in certain ones together. Yeah, yeah. cool. Verisite and <laughs> more to the left, says Stargazer. Oh no, thank you, brother. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Oh, thank you. Um. Oh, uh, no receipts, fine. Oh, yeah. This, you guys know what this is? Don't tell them. Let's see, there's 120 of you folks in here. What do you guys think this is? I know what this is. It's from a similar region as some of those places. That's a good hint. Who knows what this is? Me and Sprite were looking at some cabochons of this. One of my favorite materials. Not serp serpentine. You know what that is, right? Oh, that crazy name. Uh, it's not a verisite. Yeah. Jade is closer. Yeah. Is this a cleat? It's been around for thousands of years, but it'll be the hot new thing. What goes around comes around. I never knew. All right, the next, uh, Jackie got it. It's Moss Sitsit from Tibet. Of course, Jackie. Jackie is, is brilliant. And, um, oh, thank you, brother. He's writing me out the card. Some of you folks like, David only likes turquoise. Sprite likes the crystals like me. Give him the camera. That's coming soon. <laughs> Could you subscribe? Please subscribe. Yeah, thank you, brother. That's coming soon. I will be back soon to chat with you folks. I'm so obsessed with this stuff. Ah! <laughs> you. Killer. Look how high the domes are on those. That's great. You do the silver too? Excellent. Amazing. Yeah, that's stunning. That stamps? Yeah, Stargazer, it is killer. If anybody doesn't want to wait for the video to come out and you'd like to order some stuff, uh, would you ever consider if somebody bought enough shipping something to somebody? Oh, yeah, and if someone ever wanted to buy it overseas yeah. and afraid to send it to Germany, the yeah. Netherlands, Japan? Yeah. Heck yeah. Check them out. Head up Ron. Ron and son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. Dude, this gentleman definitely loves his work. Can I catch your name again, brother? Jason. Jason, you are the best, dude. So happy to have met you. That's a fantastic piece. All right, I gotta go, or the battery's gonna die on the phosphates. <laughs> dude, you're the best. See you soon, my brother. <clears throat> Here's some Laramar from a Dominican vendor here. These are really good. 
I love when the gentleman calls out and says everything's from the from Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Material is not easy to polish. It uh, so I prefer to buy it directly from the sort, like from the folks who are bringing the material, because it is not easy to polish. It's because of the interlocking fibers. Let's get you guys a card, my friend. I think he's busy, but I'll, I'll get a card another time. Some nice step bezels, a little bit of glue all, all splattered all over the back. Armando really is one of the best. Check this out. So I'm used to seeing this, a lot of these shapes, but this is new to me. Little seahorse. Little Cedra. Cedra. Here's a cool variation. I wonder what they're, the, the indigenous folks over there are giving the name, like, <clears throat> so there are different names for different variations almost in every rock culture. They're not just calling it red. Um, Laramar. Do you have a card, brother? A card? Maybe another day. 22, are you on 2nd Street? All right. A3. It's kind of right by the door, right? Oh, yeah, I know where you are, brother. Do you have any of the AAA high quality here? Yeah, is it all in 22nd? That looks really good right there. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Almost translucent. That's the good stuff. Here at Kino. The best Laramar in Kino, hands down. Look at that. It is translucent. <laughs> yeah. But Kino, when it comes to Kino, you. Straight from Dominican Republic? Oh, yeah. I was hoping he'd say it. Oh, Usually he's saying. Thanks for watching, brother. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks, man. Are you here faceting something? Are you at the Rocky Mountain show? Oh, you just got well. It's easier than pulling out the loop every three seconds, huh? That's a fucking line. I mean, I have to go from this <laughs> to this. So, yeah, keep it up. Thank you, brother. Comment, comment. That's the AAA right there. Five dollars a gram. Not too much more expensive than any of the other variation. That's two dollars a gram. Might as well pay for $5 a gram for the highest quality. Honestly, it's not too much more. You know, back in the day, I wonder how long it took for this to go from the norm to start working this, because that's more of the normal qualities over there. Huge different in variation. I mean, this stuff glows. That heart right there. Oh, yeah. That's what you want, folks. And, uh, you know, the, the, the slightly lower qualities are fantastic. You know, the red skins and the, I think they call it tor uh, sea turtle sometimes, or tortoise shell. Yeah, but the AAA, that's where it's at. That's, some of that's good. That's about double A, double A. That's the, that's the queen of the rodeo yeah, right there. 75% off, $1 a gram, baby. That right there. Come down to the Kino show. This is a great one for one dollar a gram. And of course they sell rough. I think it's about 80 cents a gram for the rough, I'm not sure. 
And then the Dominican Amber. You love it? I do. You need it? I have it. Fantastic. I Let's go look at these my, these crusties over here. I like them. Uh-oh, this I'd is probably get in the same place. It's a big piece. Uh, let's go for a walk outside where you take over. Keep a lookout for when it says it's dying because it's been uh, over two hours already. All right. Wow. Holy smokes, really? Uh, thank you, World of Rockhounds, for the super chat. I'm just now noticing that. You rock. If you folks haven't done so already, unsubscribe, unsubscribe to my channel and go double subscribe to World of Rockhounds. His, he has some of the best videos in the industry. Definitely has the best polish on YouTube. Me and Theo Kellison like to refer to him as the wizard. I need a good nickname. Make sure to go El nice and slow. Your nickname and show is El off everything in frame. Deej. He's still in training. Yeah, and right. in the state of Arizona, you don't have to pay when you're training people, so he ain't making nothing. I'm joking. I don't think Arizona's like that. I'm just being goofy. Don't unsubscribe. Did somebody say they're going to unsubscribe? It's a joke. No, I said unsubscribe to me and go subscribe to the World of Rock Guns. Uh, Kyle is a great guy. Oh, I'm missing the... we got to get it all in frame. I'm talking about your... Uh, Kyle's channel. Cool, Wyoming. You're on the ball today. Or are you on the level? I think you're on the level. We're going, we're going. I want to... Sh well, you spend a lot of time doing stuff. I like to show the rows so they see how big it is and stuff. There we go. Yeah, no problem. That's... Excuse me. Ah, uh, let's do it. Woo, Jackie! Thank you. Appreciate you. Ooh, my, I need a haircut or something. I care. Oh, uh, sorry, I got my shadow in the way. Ooh. Yeah, let's do it like this. All right, what do we got? Oop, oop, great. Oh, I missed it. Uh, eating. Killer food at home. Smart choice. You don't know what people are doing out there. Durango Turquoise Company. This is what we used to call the kitty litter. And $100 a pound, that's really good. Oh, I used to get stuff like this. From Bill Ridgeway. Wherever he got it. Never catch up with this conversation. Yeah, to me, the important thing is actually you all communicating with each other. And let's, uh, let's make a nice community. Looks like kitty litter. Yeah. <laughs> Cooking with you. Oh, yeah. And what about this right here? Same price or different? Uh, it's one thirty. Is this that the one thirty? Yeah. And what is this Sonoran or? Crushable oh, stuff. Kitty oh, litter bricks. Tyrone. Oh, from, from New Mexico. Tyrone, yeah. Tyrone. I like this. Is this Campito Salvador? What is this? It says Salvador here. That could have been. That's just. One twenty-five. It doesn't look. Uh, it's tough to tell. Oh, I think it is Campitos. Uh, maybe I don't know. It just has pirate in it. This is Tyrone. A lot of Tyrone is like a. A lighter blue doesn't have a lot of matrix. I love this matrix here. That's good, but I'm definitely going to get a pound of this right now. I'm already picking it out. Nice matrix, yes. Let's see what you're doing. This, I like the good matrix. Yeah. Good color, quintessential turquoise color. A little thinner, but that's fine. Backing formula, you don't have to trim it. I try to avoid the pure... Where is it from? Uh... Where's this one from again? Oh, nice. That's what it looks like. Yeah. And it's one. How much was it? One thirty. One thirty. Yeah, one thirty. Per kilo. Well, no, a pound. Pound. Yeah. 
Ugh, that was disgusting, dude. It's sorry. There's snow in my farts. No! Thankfully not. Oh. I'm gonna pick out a pound really quick if you wanna take a look at some kitty litter. Uh, I'll just do a this. cruise around. While Dave is doing this. I like my Guout symbiote. I do not know what that means. Um, yeah, so folks, if you see stuff that you like, when this video goes up later, have them text me. Text David, and also I'd say comment on the uh, rebroadcast and leave timestamps on when you see the material in that the you like. Section, not in, the live in, chat. in the comment section, definitely. I'm talking about for people like and me. If you're in Keto, come here to Durango Turquoise. This is the Durango Turquoise. I'll show the card too. I, yeah, I'm sorry the chat goes too fast for me to look at and walk and uh, watch out for little children and all that kind of stuff. But uh, well, my point is when the video airs again. Time, time. Why do you have to interrupt me, dude? Can I talk? Have I been around long enough to speak my own words? All right. I think everybody gets it. Go to the rebroadcast. Go in the com comment section. Uh-oh, we're at low power. Low power mode. You hear me? David, this thing's going low power. The button? I did. I pushed the little prompt. Was it the first one or the second one? First. This stuff, I don't know if it's picking up in the light, but I really like uh, something about it. It's bright. Bright, bright. That would be a nice little uh, sky and land kind of thing. Yeah, and please, folks, if you're just um, watching, please do leave a comment because I think it helps. Oh, okay. I think it helps with the algorithm. Right I think it helps build community. I think it's just cool when people talk to each other because everybody's getting kind of isolated these days. But it's nice. People are coming back out to Tucson. Oh, thanks for posting my channel there. Yeah, everybody, uh, we can reconvene on my channel when David's doing other stuff. And then uh, I'm also into weaving, so I'll be incorporating that into my streams. Weaving from Chimayo, New Mexico. Sprite hit me with the full daddy mode a few seconds ago. A few what, minutes ago. What does that mean? <laughs> full daddy? Did I yell at you? Oh, shit. Oh, excuse me. Um, I have to get used to the fact that there's people who don't like my language. Why doesn't Dave carry a battery pack around? I have one sitting in the car, too. Can go grab that. Um, can we weave together? Nice. What kind of stuff do you like to make? 90 likes. 132 people. Some of you, I guess, are going to be, what, driving? Watch out, Sprite. Us mods will time you out. Yeah, there's a new option, Slow I down the camera. All right, thanks for letting me know. We're running out of battery, so I just kind of want everybody. Uh, you make placemats. Cool. Um, I do scarves and shawls lately. And I'm going to be doing some training on doing the, uh, the nice, the traditional style Chimayo blankets with the medallions and different kind of designs and stuff. Um, so that's exciting. There's one section here I didn't get to. Donating for a power battery. Well, that's appreciated. Um, now, because say, it'll definitely now, bring up quality, quality of the show if we're on the air and not and it's hard watching to, so like, I want to do this thing charge. Who are just reselling, you know what I mean? You, you flood, it's 
Mm. These are really nice. Daniel, you do a lot of cutting. Real artists. Some people like come to my booth and we have, you know, substone cats and spears from Indonesia. When it comes to that, I'd rather talk to the people who are cutting those, like the Peruvians, real Indonesians. So I'm having to pick and choose. I'm disappointing a lot of people. But uh, it's doing good. I can do this full time. Oh. Somebody's going to love this piece. Pretty purple. Yeah, no doubt. Here's another one that's got some. Let's see. So there we go, some detail. Yeah, sure. Should I meet you? Will you be doing an Opal tour? I would like to, and I just got my uh, pass for the Gem Mall and the Holodome, so I'll go back there maybe while David's doing something else. And I'll try to find the Opals that I usually get, but I didn't see him today, but I did see another dealer who is also good, but doesn't quite give me the deal that I like. SoCal, welcome back. GYB. I don't know what GYB is. Grab your bag. Oh, uh, now here's something that I used to really search for. And I got a couple and I was pretty happy. But this is Lazurite. So it's a lapis crystal and it's this is on a feldspar base. Nicely shaped by the, uh, the artist. Here's another one. Get your bone. Oh, super chat. Well, thanks. The, the lavender stuff is... Do, 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 do. I don't know, Charoite? Uh, no, I don't know what this is. This is awesome though, you got a good eye. Get your bone. That is fucking hysterical. Oh, excuse me. Man, I, I just really have a, an adult language. Low IQ kind of language. But yeah, I'm just expressing myself. This stuff is really interesting. Hackmanite. Hackmanite for two bucks a gram. Not lipidolite, Hackmanite. Oh, purple indeed. So I can come back and get this stuff for you all. Swear jar. <laughs> Maybe, huh? Wow. And then I'll buy myself a phone with the money from the swear jar. It's doing so many things to detox. No doubt. Relearn the metric system. I'm thinking of just relearning all my math because really I don't remember. Oh, here's some more special stuff. Edit out something. Missed something. What? Uh, ooh. All right, folks. Of all of them, that's the one I would get. But I'd probably just get the whole handful and then share them. Here's some interesting stuff. Oh, Metric. Oh, I remember the band Metric. Huh? Only one tune, though. But it had some, like, sounded like the keyboard from the cars. Scrooge McDuck, that barrel. <laughs> Just take a bath in the tourmaline? I don't know. 
Hackmanite. Oh, that, yeah, Jackie, you got it, man. The Hackmanite before it goes away. Um, I don't know if the color is picking up. Must be, oh, I missed that. What was that? Must be genius, then? You are. No such thing as a bad word. It's just society labeling a word as bad. That's true. They're just noises. It's funny noises we make with our face, and somehow we communicate these symbolic ideas. Intelligent and swear constantly. Yeah, I guess it's not a measure. I just, I know that there's actual words to describe that, uh, you know, I don't need to be saying trashy talk. So this is from Kingman, Arizona. Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. That's the Kingman. Facebook Live? No, it's uh, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, everybody loves the uh, Hackmanite. Hackmanite. Yes. Is that new? It's pretty new, man. Okay. It's a fluorescent mineral. Excellent. Oh, man, now it's all going to go. I'm not even going to get any. By the time I leave here, everybody's going to come here and snatch it. How much per gram? That, are you talking about the Hackmanite? Oh, low battery. I'll be coming back here tomorrow, everybody. Um, I'll be coming back here tomorrow, everybody. And um, Oh, are you talking about the Kingman? Full wants to know about the Kingman. It's the Sprite Show. This is where it gets good. Hysterical. The Kingman, Kingman. All right, we're going to find out. The Purple Blue Stone. That, that was probably maybe the, the Lazurite crystal. I'll find the price on that kingdom. Hey, uh, what's the price on the kingdom? It's three dollar per gram. Three. Three. All right, you heard it here. Three dollars per gram for the kingdom. Here's some Verisite. I love Verisite. And I just pulled a David by licking my... Well, no, he'll lick the rock. I'm just... I licked my thumb, which was pretty dirty. Here's some nice purples. I'm going to say this is some kind of opal. But I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, folks, the battery is getting down. We do have some chargers, I believe. Here's some nice opal. This isn't crazy. This is the bottom of something, I guess. Thumb that has touched a thousand rocks. Nah, yeah, it's true. Now, I wash my hands a lot, but I'll tell you what, I'm drying out. Hackmanite is a variety of sodalite, right? Um, I'm going to leave it to you to share that amongst each other. Touching Dave's Kimball. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Oh, I like these garnets. Kingman is gorgeous. Yeah, it's nice stuff. I don't mind it at all. I'm a Verisite kind of person myself. And I think I do like the Lander and the uh, Royston. These are cool. Is this more garnet, maybe river tumbled? Sodalite is gypsum. Well, sodalite's a few things. I'm, not, I'm really not a, a chemist person. Oh, thanks, fool. Empty fool. Purple and white rocks look like either Tiffany or pink tourmaline. Pink tourmaline. Here's a chunk. That'll clean up nicely. And then this odd little emerald. And here's another one. They don't mind. They're chilling. Yellow opal. I bet this would be great for using in mosaics. This is tourmaline. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back here. I just fly right past all this stuff. 
It was such a long day, so tired. No time for plates or forks. Oh, uh, you guys are talking amongst yourself. Um, dollar gram tourmaline. I guess that's the stuff in the barrel. This is interesting to me. Sunrise tourmaline. Great booth, stargazers. Yeah, you are correct. It's good. It's good, and... I'm glad to see these again. It's been a while. I don't see them all the time. I might have to grab a little bit. Like, this piece is awesome. So back in the old days, this was like $30. But, uh... I don't know what they go for now. But that's how it goes, you know. Sometimes things... They get all played out and uh, you don't see them and then somebody hits a new batch and then they're back again. 10? Yes. All right. Well, folks, we're going to take a last look at this Hackmanite. Uh, come over here for one more second if you don't know okay. what Here, you could take it back. So Sunday, me and Sprite are going to be doing a sale from the Durango Turquoise booth. I'm going to show you what I'm buying here, folks. $130 a pound. I'm buying this beautiful Kingman Turquoise. $130 a pound. That is incredible. I'm going to make that back on this piece alone. So we're going to be going live here Sunday. Not exactly sure what time. Um, probably early. Tomorrow we'll be going live from McKay Anderson's booth. Sprightly Sprite will be uh, assistant manager. I will be the laborer. <laughs> yeah, come come over here. Make sure to join in. Um, also, do I get to do upper middle management? Yes. Okay. Uh, Durango Turquoise will do invoices, and they will do shipping. They are not afraid to ship overseas. Um, I don't know if Durango Turquoise has a. I don't see a card. Oh, gracias, señor. Yep, so Sunday. I know, dude. Do you want me to pick you out a pound of that uh, Kingman over there for 130 full? I haven't mailed out your turquoise yet, so I can just bundle up together. Anyway, Ruvokaba. Ruvokaba. How do you say that? You want to try to say the last name? Ruvulcaba. 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 You got to say it fast like you're from Colombia. I bet it has something to do with cows. Ru Ruvulcaba. Royal cow. <laughs> anyway, Sunday, make sure to join. I'm not doing invoicing. I'm not doing shipping, so you know you're going to get it at a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to wrap up. Um, invoices for McKay will come out today. All of the jewelry minus uh, two people have gone out and that's because I'm including some other things for them. Be here tomorrow, McKay Anderson's booth, Sunday, Durango Turquoise. If anybody has anything that they, oh dude, someone's like, don't forget your wallet. Gosh. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are the Is best. Card in there? <laughs> okay, you guys are too good. Um, if there's anything else that anybody wants, Sprite will be doing the shopping. He is an expert of crystals, and um, I just know turquoise. I'll follow. <laughs> Wherever you want me to go, I'll go grab it. Send I'll me a text message place. now. Uh, sorry, get your bone. I, I did not see any of the text. He's still going to get after All right. Text me if you guys need anything. Saturday, McKay Anderson, Anderson Stone. Sunday, Durango Turquoise Company. Love you guys. See you soon. Yep, that's my phone number. I'll give you folks a few moments to take a screenshot. Text me if you need anything. Sprightly Sprite will be doing shopping while I do filming. And I would even love to film him shopping for you. That would be fun. So. Love you. <laughs>